Hello YouTube, this is Navalis67, I'm bringing you another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra review. Um, sorry these reviews have been so sporadic, um, just been having issues, so, um, hopefully they will become a little more regular, um, and by next week we'll probably have our first non-G.I. Joe review, um, just give you guys a heads up, I am into Kamen Rider, um, not necessarily that American Dragonite, I don't mind that series at all, but, that is not what I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to be reviewing an import figure. But, anyways, back to the G.I. Joe Rice Co. review. Here we've got a Heavy Duty. There are two out. There's this, this is the Heavy Duty Reactive Impact Armor, and then there's um, Heavy Duty Assault on the Pit. Um, I've seen a review for the Assault on the Pit, and it didn't sell me, and when I saw the figure in person, it didn't sell me. Um, this figure I did like, and then I saw a review on it, and so then I did go out and find it and buy it. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, this figure is a lot of fun. Number one, because he can really he can carry all of his main accessories, which includes this grenade launcher. Ooh, he is very um, back heavy, but I'll get into that in just a little bit. He carries a grenade launcher, this backpack, ammo belt, his Gatling gun, which does all feed into each other, which is pretty cool. And then he has the oversized missile launcher, um, which of course he can't carry when he's carrying all this stuff. But I know that's not going to bother some people. But yeah, the regular oversized missile launcher. I like this one again. Um, my only complaints about, well, no, I'll get to that later. Um, but yeah, he can hold this. It takes a lot of fiddling to get him to hold on to it, and then to get the ammo clip to um, meet in. But he can carry it, so that works. Um, has a backpack. This is heavy duty. This is where the ammo belt clips in. I don't know if you're meant to do this, but I found out I was able to. And so I'm going to work with that. Um, ooh, okay. This is all bad now. But there's a little, he's got these two bars in front of the backpack, and they come in pretty tight. The grenade launcher's got that scope. You can pretty much just slide the scope right in. It'll sit. You can do that on the other side too, but then it gets in the way. But I mean, you can also hold on that side too. But So he can hold that accessory. I don't know if he's technically supposed to be able to. Alright, well, might as well get into articulation since he fell off. Um, totally unhindered. Um, let's say all the joint, all the joints move really well. Um, what is kind of weird is that his chest kind of sits back, but it's meant to because then, I mean, this is all, f the back is all flushed, but then this front part's funky, and then if you bring that front part up, he's got a big gap on his back, so, um, seems to just be a design flaw. Um, well, since I'm here, one thing I don't like is I don't like that head sculpt. Only well, because he doesn't look like a big guy. He looks like a very manly woman. I know that sounds weird, but it's really a shame that he kind of got beat out on the face sculpt, consi considering that um, other people got really good face sculpt. I mean, you know, you had Marlon Wayans as Ripcord, who had a pre had a really good head sculpt. You know, then we got here. We have Channing Tatum as Duke, who also got a really good head sculpt. Um, the light is doing bad things to him. I mean, he had a really, really close head sculpt. Looks a lot like the actor. And Dennis Quaid got a really good head sculpt too. Which is another reason why it's a shame that he did not get a good head sculpt. And I don't quite know why that is. Um, but he can pretty much stand on this base. Um, his holster, he comes with a different handgun than everyone else. He comes with this big Desert Eagle that he can hold. Um, he has a little trouble holding it after you've just taken this out. He holds it a little funky, but he's got a bigger handgun. And he's got the grenade launcher. And I would give this figure um, a solid... Um, 9 out of 10. I mean, even though the face sculpt is bad, um, the figure really does everything he's supposed to do. I mean, he's big. I mean, just to get a size comparison, he is bigger than the other 3 3 4 inch characters. I think it's, he has to be, because, I mean, here he is next to Snake Eyes. So, I mean, he is in size. I mean, he matches up perfectly with the way he's supposed to be. Um, the downside of his massive size is, obviously, he has a hard time fitting into vehicles. Um, he does not... Um, adjust well to the um, everything that's meant for these guys he really can't get into which kind of sucks but 
Oh well, whatever. Um, but yeah, he gets a 9 out of 10, and I'm signing out.